So how do you study for a math test? I'm going to tell you something which may surprise you and might upset you. There isn't really such a thing as studying for a math test. There is just doing math homework, and that's it. Doing math homework and studying for a math test are exactly the same thing. Why? Because the questions on a test are exactly the questions in your homework. If you are doing all of your homework, there will never be a question on a test you don't know how to answer. They might be able to be a little bit sneaky, finding a way of wording the question in a way that, you know, you don't recognize, but usually the worst they can do is take a question about, you know, selling hot dogs and make it about, you know, selling lemonade. So if you do all of your homework between the class when it's assigned and the class where it's due, then you are 90% of the way to having studied for the test. And the last 10% will come from more homework, which is the homework from the review section at the end of the chapter. Now, what does make a test more difficult is that the questions are coming from multiple sections. Uh, so, yes, we've just spent the last three weeks teaching you all this different stuff, but now you don't know where it's coming from. You need to match up which section uh, goes with each question, which means you have to have done enough of the questions to be able to tell them apart uh, to recognize them. But you should never find yourself uh, doing that thing where you stay up until 2 o'clock in the morning the night before cramming. Uh, besides, the research, yeah, research shows that doesn't work anyway, so just go to bed at the regular time. I mean, I'm serious. And I hear you saying, but don't I need to memorize the formula? Well, no. In math, you don't memorize things. You just do them over and over again, and they kind of sink in. So how do you make sure they sink in? Remember earlier when I mentioned that at the end of each lesson before the homework started, there was a summary inside of a box which the important, with the important stuff that you uh, needed to remember? Mostly it's a formula or something like that. Well, what you do is every time you need the formula in every question, you write it out in full. Uh, but the original version, not the version where you've already subbed in the numbers where they've told you what you can use. And now why the original? Because that rat repetition is your memorizing. You remember what it feels like to, to write, what it looks like on the page, and what kind of questions it shows up with. And yes, that does add an extra line to almost every question, but you've worked on having nicer handwriting, so you have that space to spare, right? So it's fine. Uh, the one thing you should do is you should start keeping track on a separate page of all those things that you keep using, like a formula sheet in science. Uh, and you should probably have at least one per chapter. Um, for the lessons on this channel, there is a formula sheet that you can download and print off yourself. But also get into the habit of making one on your own, because that is a school uh, skill, school skill that you can use for any course. Uh, figuring is figuring out. What is it that they expect me to know for this test? And fitting it onto one piece of paper. And now maybe it happens that you get, you know, two days before the test and you say, I always use this one, but I can't quite remember it. So that's when you will, you know, go to your room, close the door, and get a blank piece of paper and just write that formula over and over and over again until the paper's full and say it out loud as you do it. Uh, that's why you close the door, so your family won't think you're nuts, nuts for talking to yourself. Uh, then after the page is full, I mean, that one formula will just be memorized, and maybe for a test you have to do that what, twice. So it's really important when you're studying for a test is change the way you're thinking about it altogether. You're not studying for a test. You're just doing the math homework, because really the test is just the homework, but you do it sitting at your desk while there's a teacher watching, and that's really all there is to it.